By default, like most programs, Poser and its content will install onto your main hard drive, which on the PC is most likely your C drive. There are several reasons why you should override that and point it to a second drive, but first a word about drives. Your computer has two types of storage, volatile, generally called memory, and non-volatile, generally called your disk drive. Volatile memory is faster, but anything stored there is wiped when you turn the power off unless your computer is put into a sleep state. Non-volatile storage is where you install programs, games and 3D data. It remains intact even when the computer is switched off. Broadly speaking, there are also two types of non-volatile storage, SSDs and mechanical drives. Mechanical drives are a technology that goes back to 1970 and it records information by changing the state of a spinning surface using precise magnets. Commonly, mechanical drives are described in terms of their rotational speed, most likely 5400 or 7200 RPM for consumer SATA drives. They are reasonably fast, with transfer speeds up to about 160 megabytes per second and for the home market are increasingly utilised primarily for external backup storage and NAS drives. However, as data capacities increase, what seemed fast for a few gigabytes of data has quickly gotten left behind as data sizes increase to the tens or even hundreds of gigabytes. There are an increasing number of games that require over 100 gigabytes. Raw video can easily top 50 gigabytes for a single 30 minute piece of footage and even products at the DAS store frequently top out over 1 gigabyte for a single piece of content. Billboards and HDRIs, I'm looking at you. This has necessitated an increase in storage speeds, leading first to the development of SSDs, then NVMe SSDs. SSD stands for Solid State Drive, and as the name suggests, it is solid state storage with no moving parts. The lack of moving parts is a massive boon given that you could destroy a £300 mechanical drive by simply dropping it from 6 inches onto your desk. In the early days, SSD suffered from all manner of problems such as overheating, short life and the inability to securely erase data. Nowadays, most drives have addressed those issues and the Windows 10 and 11 auto trim function helps with secure erasure. However, basic SSDs still connect to your computer via the SATA port and that imposes a limitation on the maximum data transfer bandwidth. To the rescue has come the next generation of storage, NVMe or Non-Volatile Memory Express. NVMe sidesteps SATA's bandwidth limitations by interfacing directly with your motherboard. This leads to extraordinary transfer speeds up to 3.8 gigabytes per second and equally extraordinary prices, often 400 to 1000 percent more than a mechanical drive of a comparable capacity. Because they are so expensive, a common storage tactic is to use a smallish NVMe or, if your computer doesn't support it, an SSD as your boot drive, then store your programs, applications and data on a second drive. Personally, I have five internal hard drives a 1 terabyte Samsung Evo 970 NVMe, a fast Western Digital Black mechanical drive for programs, then further themed mechanical drives, data, downloads and video. I also have tens of terabytes of external storage that I use for backups and rarely use data. I tell you this not to show off but to articulate the importance of a coherent data storage strategy and this is where Poser or DAS Studio comes in. Neither program is particularly large, so the benefits of running them from an NVMe or even a regular SSD is negligible. Reducing load times from 30 seconds to 3 is trivial compared to how long you will be using the programs. However, when you start to render, especially if you have less memory or are dealing with large scenes, your computer will use your boot drive as virtual memory. That means that when you run out of physical memory, it starts to treat your boot drive as memory. This can cause a massive performance hit if your primary drive is mechanical. And there's a second equally important reason to install Poser or DAS Studio on a second drive. Data protection. I don't mean in the legal sense of preventing other people getting to your details. I mean protecting yourself from data loss. 
If you're like me, you have vast quantities of custom content and you have rearranged your content into groupings and folders that suit you. One huge task I undertook was to move all of my old mat poses, textures stored as pose files, over to the materials folder. I do backup regularly to an offline drive, which is turned off as soon as the backup is completed in order to protect it from hackers or viruses, but it is inevitable that your drives will fail from time to time. I always try to invest in decent quality storage, such as Western Digital Blacks with their 5 year warranty, but I've even had one of those drives die on me in just over a year. By separating your content off onto another drive, you reduce wear on your drives and if a drive does die, you don't lose as much data. On that theme, there is another reason to separate your data from the program install, even if they are on the same drive. When I installed the update to DAS Studio 4.20 recently, it warned me to back up my data first. I have hundreds of gigabytes of installed content and now you're warning me to back it up because your latest update might screw it up? Hell no! Nah. My DAS files are in a different folder that I point to within DAS and my poser files are in a different folder that I point to in both poser and DAS. I can install, uninstall and modify the programs with impunity because these folders are not part of the base install. There's one final reason that you should install your content on a secondary drive. Ransomware. Ransomware is a type of attack on your system, most likely caused by downloading from somewhere illegal, visiting dodgy sites or opening spoof emails. In extreme cases it may be caused by a direct hack of your machine. A common ransomware tactic is to encrypt all of the data on your hard drives, then charge you to unencrypt it. Don't think it couldn't happen to you because it's happened to hospitals, governments and billion dollar companies with full time network security experts. Some ransomware attacks only encrypt the boot drive, others work their way through all of your drives so you may get warning time. One advantage of having a mechanical drive as a boot drive was that you could hear it whirring as it was encrypted and yes I have been attacked once. That brings me to my conclusion. How much is your data worth to you? Your family photos and videos, letters you've written, art and content you've created and more. If the answer is more than a few hundred pounds then you have no excuse for not buying an external drive and implementing an automated backup regimen. I use Acronis True Image and after a few minutes to set up the backup everything else is fully automated from that point on. Don't wait until it happens to you, protect your data now.